No, one waffle. <laughs> Lots of. I accidentally ate bacon, guys. Hola, amigos. Hola, amigos. So for today's video, we're going to try out these HK Anderson. Is this Scandinavian? Peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. And the reason why we got this, my mom got this for me, but the reason why I know about this is because I watched a what I got for a Christmas video and she was eating this, or not, she was not eating it, but she was given a huge jug of this and I got jealous and I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. So, not only that, you have a gift for it, your aunts. Yeah, and but the reason why I know about it is because of that video. So, let's try it. It sounds like there's Benji's something. It sounds like there's something solid in it. Yeah, the peanut butter. It's so salty! Eat it with ice cream lap. It's different from what I yeah. <laughs> expected. It's super salty. It's pretzels. I thought it would be more on the sweeter side. Pretzels is salty. Mm, it's okay, but it's not as good as I thought. With ice cream, it's yummy. But on its own, because I was expecting something sweet, so I'm like, <laughs> eat ice cream. Sweet. Ah. Let me try again. Tell me if you have tasted this before. I love pretzels with another flavor. I don't like if it's just pretzels. Mm. Mm. It's good. Chocolate covered pretzels. White chocolate covered. Hmm. Guys, we went to the casino today. <laughs> oh my god. It was a huge buffet. It was a special day. It's not senior day. <laughs> the reason why we went was because I'm leaving, right? And we're it's going to... Ah, we went to the slot machines. By the way, guys, this is caramel almond brittle. Tell um, them what we ate first. We went to the slot machines. <laughs> Oh, and I will tell them about the server. When we were at the slot machine, I did. I thought I was going to pull the lever thing, but I just clicked on the button over and over again. It was a bit like oh, underwhelming because you had to click on it. Like, it was a bit boring. I don't understand how people just sit there and click on that the whole day. Tell them um, what the girl said. Mama. <laughs> and and. and I was like, oh, and then I didn't, I didn't win anything. I won 25 cents, I think, but we didn't take it because it's 25 cents. And you didn't win anything. It said 25 cents. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, guys. But before that, when I sat down, a guy went up to us and was like, the guy. Oh, um, let me see your ID first before we begin this. <laughs> and I was like. Huh. Then I showed him my passport. Then I was like, okay. He was counting. Counting. Couldn't count. He was thinking of the year. Mm hmm. Because it said my birthday. And then he had to sing like 1994, 1995, 1996, 1997, 1998, 1999. <laughs> and Michael said he was looking at me too. I don't think he thought you were below 21. I don't think either. I just think he looked at you because maybe he liked you. Maybe he likes you. He was 20 plus. You and Michael are better. <laughs> I started, I like, I used to hate salty and sweet. And you know, like, after oh. looking at but Maya's passport, he had to report it in mm -hmm. his walkie-talkie. Because I think, I think they saw me through the cameras so were like, why is the 15-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird because sometimes you would see kids there. Mm. But they are not playing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, know, I was thinking, it's good that nobody tells me like at the airport, like where's your mom? <laughs> mm -hmm. Because in the airport you have to be like above 15 or 16, I think, to be able to go around. But maybe Without it's because mm, maybe it's because I don't look like I'm lost. <laughs> so that's why. 
When I came to Sweden, I was only 17 and they thought I was 12. Mm. But they didn't look for a stewardess because I think you can be 12 without. Huh? I don't know. What? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> you're still a baby when you're 12. <laughs> Tell them about the waitress, Emma. The server. The yeah. waffle. No, tell them about the waitress first. It's not so exciting. Huh? Let's start with the sir, uh, with the uh, waffle. Do you want to tell it? We went to the um, buffet area. Uh, my mom wanted waffles, so we went to the guy. He was cooking the waffles, and my mom was like, "One waffle, please." And he was like, "Pancake, omelette, oh, omelette." I said, "I want one waffle first. You know, normal." I didn't try to be American. And he said, omelette? Omelette? And I said, no, one waffle. <laughs> <laughs> and then he understood. <laughs> so he made the waffle and then say. Oh, and he was making the waffle and then he had two chopsticks in his hand. He got a bit restless, restless and started. <laughs> Drumming on everything, on the on the paper dispenser, on the walls, on the, on the counters, everywhere. Where he it still, is not. Who should not have done that, Mama? Because he he drummed on the paper dispenser as well as the <clears throat> counter. Then the paper dispenser things came on the counter where they put the food. Yes. And I but then he threw it out. My mom thought he would use it for the to waffle. Flip the waffle or something. And I told Maria, no, not again. I can't say I won't get that. But he threw it. But it felt a bit aggressive, even though he was like cheerful. He was tired, I think, or restless or bored. Or under <laughs> the influence. <of. laughs> and then. There was this waitress, she was serving us and she looked like she was Philippine, a Filipina. Can I take the last one? And my mom was like, I think she's from the Philippines. Then Michael said, how do you say, are you from the Philippines? And then my mom was like, you could see the horns coming out. And she was like, mm. Are you going to flirt with a waitress? In front of me. That's so In front rude. of moi? Mm. The I queen? <laughs> I'm your queen. You don't talk to anyone else. Like that. Fake juice. We found a Dollar Tree. And then... Tampico. Dumb the girl pie. came back. And Michael said, Galing ka ba sa Pilipinas? Mm. Pinoy ka ba? Pinoy ka ba? Which Pino means I'm Pinoy. Filipino. Pinoy kaba. Mm -hmm. And then. It was quite good. Mm. And then she said, yes. And then she looked at us. It was like, why can a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I asked her in Filipino. And when a Filipino asks another Filipino in Filipino, you're supposed to answer in Filipino. That's just. Yeah. I, I asked her, Matagal ka na ba dito? And it means how long? Here a long, a long time. time. How long have you been And then here? she said, in English. Seven years, and I thought rude. <laughs> she said seven years na ako dito. Oh, sorry. Okay, that was that next. means. So I don't have to write any subtitles. <laughs> that means I've been here for seven years. I thought you didn't like the juice. Yeah, but so like so salty. So tell me, it's perfect. Tell me. Tell me. It's decent. Um. You shouldn't get hurt, you didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy. And then, Tampico, but it's okay if you're eating something salty. And then, um, she looked at us like. <laughs> she wasn't so. She's only been her, here for seven years. It took years. her a long time to answer. 
and as if she like has it's it's almost as if she hasn't been speaking Tagalog in a long time because that's how you are like if you haven't there sp spoken Filipinos a kind if you haven't spoken a language in a long time, you have to think a bit harder what you're going to say, like like French, like, but like how old when you think she? about your childhood when you spoke like French in school or spoke Philippine I mean, now is one of the easiest, maybe the easiest language in the whole. It's world. like when you went to you went to high school and high school you studied Spanish and then when you grew up you were like hmm. How do you say that again? It's like that. It's except she probably grew up in the Philippines so it's a bit weird that, and she doesn't look that old like, that young either like she, maybe she, she was 25 maybe she was like 30 because she looks young but she's a Filipino so she could have been older I mean I'm a Filipino I know how they look Love, <laughs> <laughs> love. can can you put some in, in that because this one has a lot of fake juice <laughs> Can you put that there? What's in this? Look this. I don't can, understand what's the can, difference. Can you do it without... without? What's the difference? Because I want it here. Why? Because there's lots of ice. Oh. Can you do it without do it, making any? Oh. Still spill. Be careful with the rug. <clears throat> no, no, no. I need that love in salt. Salty. Guys, I don't like it so much. I like it. I don't even think I like it. <laughs> Do you think Tita Gia and Tita G will like it, or should I just leave that here? You don't like it. Should I just leave it and put something else instead? No, let them, let them taste it. It's yummy. This is the nut butter inside. I don't like it so much. I thought it would be sweet. I like salty stuff, but I don't like it. I want to try, but you're not here anymore. But next time you come, what Maria can eat the seafoods. And I want to go to seafood night. Lots of. I accidentally ate bacon, guys. It there was, was um, potato duchesse. It was double potato fried something. Duchesse. Yeah, whatever. And I was eating it and I was like, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was Until good. Until the end. <laughs> I was, mm, yeah, I knew it. I just didn't want to say it or else I, it would have get, gotten, um, or else if I said it, I wouldn't have been able to eat it. So I waited until I finished it. <laughs> I knew from the start. I, I, I put it in my mouth. I was like, hmm, mm -hmm. what's that? <laughs> I could feel there were bites in it. Like, square. I could then. And I was like, what's that? Oh, it's because you're sensitive to mm. it now. I was like, that, taste, that doesn't taste like potato. <laughs> and then I started eating more. I was like, that's bacon. I could taste it straight away. It's very easy to identify bacon because it's like salty and you know mm. and I was like ah and then I was like oh if I don't eat it if I say that it's bacon I'm not going to eat it so I just said, didn't say anything until I was done with it and I was like oh there's bacon <laughs> someone said in my video oh it's copy and ASMR because I had her milk chocolate and someone said milk Chocolate milk chocolate isn't vegan and I said and I said it in the video the Hershey's was the Hershey's I drank was unsweet and so it's vegan. Guys, I finally figured out that like uh, I know in the last mukbang I was like I don't know to do with the lime or two mukbangs ago I don't know I was like where should I put it I tried putting it over there it gave me a shadow on this side put it over there it gave me a shadow on this side and then no, it's still dark. I figured out you just have to put it up in the sky. No, it's still dark. No. No, it's not. Anyways. It was, Anyways. <laughs> it was vegan. Why would I give Maria? If it's not vegan, I wouldn't say what it's did you give vegan me? on on a video. Like I, if I would give you what something. Did they eat? 
the Hershey's chocolate, it was vegan. Someone said, Chocolate what? Drink? Mm -hmm. My wisdom tooth is growing, I'm eating on the wrong side. No burning. Is it coming out? Mm. There's a tiny one. There's a big You're chunk. lucky all no. of your wisdom teeth are coming out. Some some people don't. So I would be wise. I'm not sure about that. Maria is so wise and so kind and oh, the best daughter in the world. Mm. Yes. My mom has an Instagram. It's at Scorpia NYT. Woo! Go and follow her, guys. Uh, what? That's it, Mama. Oh. Just uh, if they go to Instagram and write Scorpia NYT, mm. they will find me. Mm. Oh. So not at mm. yahoo.com. Go to her, guys. Follow. And uh, give her a follow. Oh my god. What was it I drank? The orange thing? Mama, why do you keep on covering my food? Oh, champagne. I drank champagne? Yeah. The orange thing? Yeah. What's it called? Mimosa? Yeah, that's champagne. I, <laughs> I don't know anything about that. That's champagne with orange juice, Mimosa. Mm. I drank a little bit of it. It Ugh. wasn't so bad. I mean, it wasn't that bad. I, it's okay one sip, but I could not imagine myself like drinking a whole thing. It mm. tasted like apple cider vinegar. Mm. And then I told a Mama, little bit better than apple cider. It's so funny. I told Carmen on Snapchat. I said, Carmen, why do people drink apple cider vinegar? Why do they like the taste of that? Because she said, Oh, I hate champagne. And then I commented back and I said. Yeah, why do people like drinking it? Like, why do people like but drinking you, you apple cider champagne vinegar? champagne too, without, without the orange juice. No, I didn't. Just really? with orange juice. And then That's she said, okay. do you know what she said when I asked her why people drink apple cider vinegar? She said, I don't know, Maria, I don't drink apple cider vinegar. <laughs> she was making a joke and I found it to be so funny and I laughed. She was so funny. Anyways, um... But I don't get it. Why? why? Is that their play? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> why do people like to do that? Champagne. It tastes like apple cider vinegar. And I've watched other people on YouTube drink alcohol for the first time. They try different types. They always say this. Either it tastes like apple cider vinegar, or it tastes like rubbing alcohol, or it tastes like nail polish remover. Mm. Why would you like to drink nail polish remover? <laughs> oh, and Michael, I, I gave Michael a... No, what? I did, like, it was so tiny, so I couldn't feel the burn. You Sh felt it. Yeah. He didn't like, he, he liked the just champagne, and I said, oh, the, the one with mimosa was a bit confusing. Like, like, it's not orange juice and it's not champagne. People say alcohol is a sign of being an adult. I do not believe in that at all. Then I'm not an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in that because just because you drink alcohol doesn't mean you're an adult. No. But anyways. It's, it's funny a because sign I said you want to change your mood and you want to take away your inhibitions. That's or that you want to have fun or whatever. Yeah, that, that's um, when you have fun when you take away your inhibitions. And then I'm like, I don't have any space. And then um, um, I said in a Snapchat adulting. I didn't mean like, oh, this is adulting. I meant like this is something you do when you're an adult and like. I, I was 21 two years ago, but I could have tasted it when I was 18 in Denmark because you can drink when you're 18 in Denmark, mm. but I didn't so I follow the US I program Maria, You know when when my late stepdad would let me taste wine. I also gave her and she was when a, a child. How, yeah, and super young, right? Yeah, but red vinegar she, red, vinegar. <laughs> red, white red wine. wine and she would just accept my god. I know I didn't like it. I still remember mom. I still remember that day. How can I remember that day? Because I mean I didn't like it and you didn't like it either. Mm. You know, I regret it. When you get a kid, don't. No, I won't. Because if you have a, the, the addict, addictive gene, uh, yeah, it's it's like so dangerous, especially mm. when you're a kid. So but it, again, don't do that. No. I thought it was okay because my late stepdad said it was okay. 
do what the adults say. Um, it's okay to taste. Just be sure there's no drugs in it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I let you taste first, and if nothing happens to you. <laughs> no, it's okay to taste, so you know the taste. But they don't really do it for that taste, they just say. They do it because of the cake. I except for red wine. Some really. Mm. Red wine and white wine, except for that. But usually they and don't cocktails. like the taste. Like, I asked. Oh, I like Bailey's, but. And then I, I, th I would tell people who are making like the Bailey's, and I said, How do you make it, you know, no, without the happiness? And they said, Oh, you mean chocolate milk? <laughs> <laughs> I've tasted Bailey's. I didn't like it. Have you have you tasted Carlsberg? Oh no, the smell of that. <laughs> it smells bad. Carlsberg, guys, is a Danish brand, and it's, it's so popular in Denmark. It. Mm, it's so popular. I think he likes it. And I, everyone drinks it in Denmark, no matter if you're 15, 16, 12, <laughs> or 20. So I've always like I have you smelled it. You can buy it, it in grocery stores. Oh, it's the worst smelling thing on the planet. <laughs> Mm. But you need to be eight. 18 to drink it. No, to buy it in To buy it, yes. Yeah. I think you need to be 18. But kids drink it, so I don't know. No, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, love. If it I are, think you have to be 18. No, no. That's do, alcohol. Do they need to be 21 to buy it? Oh, from so grocery stores. Maybe. I know you can you can drink it at 18, but somebody else you has can to drink be it, with you. Uh, like in a. Not in a bar, but if you're in a restaurant and you're 18, you can drink In Denmark. Beer. This is Denmark. This is Denmark and Sweden. In um, Canada, you can drink when you're 19, I think, I read. I'm not sure. I mean, in the bar, I wonder why the in the bar States, you need to be 21. I wonder why in the States, why they've set it to 21. Why is it so high? Because that's really the legal age, 21. Yeah, but why can you drink? Why can you drink in Europe? Why can you drink? Like if an American it's goes, advanced. if it's an American goes modern. to Denmark, they can drink if they're. Mm, in. Yeah, they're more modern. And but it's not good, you know. It's more, good that they do it here. Than the one. I feel like it's good. That. It's more conservative here. Mm. It was so funny though that Michael did he just uh, like Maria and I drank a little bit and he drank so it was just half I thought he would just drink it. It was so funny though. He was drinking the normal champagne He saw somebody else drinking an orange champagne thing. I was like, what's that? Why does it look different? <laughs> and then he <laughs> ordered it too <laughs> Got jealous. Because it was inclusive in the in the buffet I didn't know that. Don't happened. people get drunk though when it's all inclusive? They order more and more and more. I, I don't know if you're allowed. I think you're just allowed one per. Like we are three, so oh. we were allowed three champagne glass. I'm not sure. Because I don't think they would want any drunk people there. Mm. You won't get drunk if you eat food. If you drink a lot. I think you're only allowed one per person, one glass per person, so we could have ordered three. It was like I was drinking <coughs> apple cider vinegar. I don't drink. <laughs> don't drink. I, I drank like one drop and Maria drank one fourth drop. Nowadays when you talk about alcohol on YouTube, you have to be like, have to say some sort of warning like, do not drink, I do not condone drinking, blah, 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 blah. We don't drink. Yeah. Might get sometimes, but we always it. with food. Michael. And if you drink, be about 21. Uh, anyways, <laughs> or never drink. Anyways, uh, stay innocent, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you sound full. <laughs> you sound not full, drunk. drunk. Full, guys, is the Danish or Swedish term of being drunk. <laughs> and it's so funny because my mom says it in English. And she says, you sound full or you seem full and people are like, what? <laughs> full? I'm not, I haven't eaten food yet. <laughs> and they think she means like, you're full of food. But she means you're, you sound like you're junk. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. This is the last mukbang in the States officially. 
because I have a lot of videos to edit and I cannot film anymore. Go down below guys and subscribe to this channel Aryaville. Turn on the post notifications so you guys know when I upload a new video. Go to the description, click on the links for my social medias, ABF and V011, as well as my mom's three channels, Scorpion, Scorpion YT, and Scorpion ASMR. Also check out her new Instagram, at Scorpion YT. Everything in this link down below, guys, right? Yes. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Gracias por ver. And I will see you guys in the Philippines. And this